Hi, I'm Guy Aitchison from Open Democracy. Um, the chairman of the Bar Association recently called for the legalisation of uh, drugs for personal use, small quantities of certain drugs. Um, and in the last uh, few months of the Labour government, we had this sort of ridiculous charade of Professor Nutt being sacked from the Drugs Advisory Council for trying to inject a bit of a evidence and common sense into our drug policy. Um, isn't it time we reviewed our drug laws? Um, on the legalisation of drugs and the drug scheme, our dr I mean, I, I don't think we should be um, reviewing and unreviewing drugs because of uh, a lead in the Daily Mail. That is the wrong way to frame criminal justice policy. But there are people that I respect who've worked with young people all their lives who say that if you legalise certain drugs, you send the wrong signal to young people as to how they live, how they can live their lives. That's that's all I can say, speaking to youth workers that I know. Finally, um, any government minister, any opposition politician, any potential Labour leader who tells you that they are afraid of um, reviewing a policy and asking fundamental questions is a fool. So I'm very happy to review. Um, I'm not in favour of legalisation, but I certainly don't think we've got everything right in drugs policy. And I think, in particular, the way in which we do drug treatment in, in custody, I don't think we did that as well as we should have done. So if there's tough questions and hard questions to ask, and if there's evidence to look at, then, then we should, because this is the time to do that. Thank you. Uh, on the final question about drugs, I, I, I liked what Ed said, I agreed with, with him. Of course you've always got to keep drugs policy under review. I, I think that we shouldn't minimise, though, the impact of what are seen as soft drugs in terms of the mental health problems that they lead to. And there is a, you know, there's mounting evidence about that. And therefore, as politicians, you do need to be, and as society, we need to be very, very careful uh, about the signals that we send. On the drug side, look, it's impossible to say, Guy, that we are winning the war on drugs. And in that context, we must look at the supply and the demand. I think there's a huge burden on proof if, in fact, you do think that legalisation is the road forward. You've got a lot of work to do, I think, with the whole of the panel before you do it. But nonetheless, on the supply side and on the demand side, there's a lot to do. My priorities would be on drugs education, especially for young people, where I think we've not managed to uh, find a convincing way forward. I'd like to look more at DTTO's drug testing and treatment orders to make sure that they work properly. And as it happens from my experience as Foreign Secretary, on the interdiction side, there's a lot more that's worth reviewing. So let's not be afraid of those policy tools, but let's not fall into a false answer. Francis, can I just say for the sake of clarity, uh, Andy wouldn't agree with legalising drugs either. <laughs>